Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you how to deal with VLOOKUP errors when you insert or delete a column. So for example, on the left side, you have a data set. And on the right side, we have created a VLOOKUP to look up the country and bring up its population. So you can see the formula here is VLOOKUP. And it is uh, looking up into column number three and bringing up population based on the name of the country. But what happens if we insert a column here? You see the lookup function breaks because it is still looking for column number three called uh, column C and there is no data in there. So all of those numbers turn to zero. This is a very common problem and one that can cause serious issues if you have very important files that are linked to other files and you have to go in and make changes, for example, add columns or delete columns. By the way, if you are an accounting and finance professional or someone who works with Excel or performs data analysis, make sure you subscribe to my channel. In the channel Learn Accounting Finance, I create videos to share Microsoft Excel formulas, tips and tricks, financial analysis and variance analysis in Excel, basic and complex accounting topics, and use of SAP ERP, CO, and FI modules. So go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And once subscribed, click on the bell icon to receive notifications when I post new videos. So I'm going to show you two ways of dealing with this. The first way will be where you do not care about the names of the columns here. You just want your uh, lookup to be dynamic. So if you add any columns or delete any columns, you still get the right uh, information. And the second way will be when you actually go into the uh, column here, the column title here, and you can make changes. So for example, uh, we are currently looking at population and then if you want to bring in area you just type in area or you can select the column area using a drop down menu and in that case the numbers will change based on the selection you make here so let's start with the first option where uh, we will make this vlookup link dynamic and inserting or deleting a column will not affect your lookup reference here so in this first option, what we are going to use is uh, an Excel formula, which is called columns. So C-O-L-U-M-N. And you can see there are um, two options. We are going with the second one, the plural version, which is columns. And let me just show you what this uh, formula does. So if you type equal sign columns and then you open the brackets and you select any range. So for example, in this case, we select the data range and you can see that in this case, it is uh, five columns. So if I close this range now, Excel shows me the number of the last column in the range, right? But in this case, since we are looking for population, the last column in our range will be column number three, and we will change the formula, uh, and we will select only the range from A to column C, okay? And then now if I close the bracket and enter, you see that it has picked up three. Now we will simply replace this formula into our current VLOOKUP formula. So I go into this cell and instead of the hard coded number three, which I believe is not a good option uh, going forward. Now, when you use VLOOKUP formula, I recommend you use the columns function. So instead of using three, we just enter columns and you select the range and stop at population because you want to bring in population here then brackets close and then press enter. You see Excel still picks up your population, but the good thing about this formula now is that even if you insert a new column, it will still hold true. So let me just um, drag the formula down. I can do it by double clicking at this uh, small square at the end. So I double click and you can see that the formula has copied all the way down. Okay, now let's add the column. So if I add a column, let's say I want to add some more information click insert and you see this still holds true because automatically uh, this formula has ensured that Excel is picking the right column from this data set. Similarly, if I delete it back, you can still see that the numbers hold true. So this was the first option. Now we want to go with the second option where you want it to be somewhat dynamic. You want your selection here to be dynamic and you can also use a drop down menu. So let's quickly make a drop down menu first and then we will deal with how to change the formula here. So you can create, create a drop down menu by clicking on the cell that you want a drop down menu in 
and then you click on data and then click on data validation in the window that appears you select list and in the source section you will select the source from where you want the options to be available so in our case we already have the country uh, the options we want to allow are these four columns right so from region all the way to population density so the source is selected click the button again and then just click on ok so now you see there is a, a small drop down option that is uh, available when you click on this cell you see this option you click on this option and you can see now that you can change uh, from population to any of the other uh, four options so if I click on region, you can see this shows region, but nothing happens here because of the formula was still based on the column number, column number three in this case. Uh, but we want to link this to uh, this result to the selection we make here using the drop down menu. So in this case, we will use the match formula. So I will show you how to do that. So let's see how the match formula works. So if I type equal sign match, Excel will show me what I need to enter next. So it says lookup value, which will be the value of the column that we are looking for. And I'm going to freeze this cell because we will be dragging the formula down and I want it to be, I want the selection to be stable. And then we look at the range. So in this case, our lookup range is from the first column all the way to the last column. And again, we will freeze the range by pressing F4 and you see these dollar signs uh, appearing next to the cell reference. And the last thing is what type of match we want. So we want an exact match, which can also be entered by entering zero. And then you close the brackets. And you see that in this case, if I've selected population density, then the result that match shows is five, which is correct because our column for population density is column number five. Okay, similarly, if we change this to region, you see that the result here changes. So it's dynamic here. Now we have to do the same thing with our VLOOKUP formula here. Now instead of using the columns function, we will replace this with the match function. So again, we type match, brackets open, lookup value, make sure you freeze or lock the cell, then your lookup range. Again, make sure you freeze or lock the cell by pressing F4. And then finally your match type, which will be zero for exact match and then you close the brackets and then when you press enter you see that the result has changed to the region and now you can again copy the formula all the way down and now if you select your drop down change it to population you change it to area and when you change it to area there is an error now um, this is very common now how do we find what is wrong it gives us a reference error and the reason is that in our original discussion, we started with country, region, population. So the VLOOKUP range was only from column A to C. You see here, so this is only selecting column A to C. So for area and population density, we need to increase the range. So from A to C, it should actually be A to E, right? So now we are covering the entire table array. And if you press enter now, you get your results for area. So a small correction there to your formula and then double click to get your results copied all the way down and let's see if population density works and yes it does so this is a way of dealing with the uh, error that we face when our data set changes for example if we add columns or if we delete columns and i recommend that you always use one of these two methods the one i like more is the columns method because we are usually not using this drop down function in our um, results. Most commonly, we do not really care about the title here, but what we really care about is that the data here always is consistent coming from the same column that we originally intended. So I like the columns formula. This way it keeps it dynamic. So going forward, I would recommend not to type the column number uh, manually, or not to plug the number of the column, but use the columns formula. And if you wanna give the option of a drop down then in that case, you can also use the match formula and then you will have one less thing to worry about and you can have peaceful nights because your files will be bringing in information correctly from the right column. So again, if this video helps you, if you found some valuable information here, make sure you click thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to my channel.
My channel is all about accounting and finance professionals in the workplace, the common challenges they deal with, the common problems they deal with. I create videos related to Excel tips and tricks, uh, SAP, financial analysis, variance analysis, and also the basic accounting concepts. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video. Thanks and bye for now.